Here's a great chord progression. Uh, happens to be used in Tom Petty's Learning to Fly, but it's used in a lot of songs. Um, it's going to sound like this when we're all done. Kind of fun? So we're going to start with an F chord, F major chord, the big infamous bar chord. If you don't know this chord, if you back it up a half step, you may, you may recognize it. It's our E major chord. If I move the E up a half step, it would be F, but only on strings 3, 4, 5, where my fingers are sitting. The open strings didn't move. If we could have moved the nut, it would have been F, but we can't move the nut. So what we do is we take go back to this chord, switch the fingers to 2, 3, and 4 instead of 1, 2, 3. So 2 goes where 1 was, 3 went where 2 was, 4 went where 3 is. We move it a half step forward, drop the first finger in to be the nut, basically, F major chord. If I moved it another half step, it would be F sharp or G flat, another half step would be G major. Alright, for the chords in the song, we're going to go from our F major to a C. Keep your third finger where it is, move one up, or I mean, sorry, move two up one string, and move C down to the first fret of your second string. It gives us a C chord. So again, here's our F chord. C stays where it is, pinky goes away, two comes up, one goes down. That's our F to our C. Then from C to A minor, A minor is the next chord, we just tuck our third finger right underneath our second finger, so that's on the second fret of your third string. So one and two do not move from C to A minor. Fairly easy. A minor to G is a bit, a bit bigger switch. Your A minor chord to G, there's no fingers that stay the same, but basically your first finger is going to come from the first fret of your second string to the second fret of your fifth string. And then two and three are going to pop up to these outside third fret of the outside strings, the two E strings, which gives us a 2G because they're both on the third fret, A minor G. So we're going to have F to C, A minor to G. And even if you can't get the F chord to sound exactly right, don't worry about it, just go for it. Worry about the strum pattern, getting all that down. Before you know it, you'll play it with no problem. All right, so now let's look at the strum pattern itself. We're going to start with an F chord, and we're going to play two eighth notes. So we're going to go down, up, down, up. Basically, it's just one hand. On beat two, we're going to take the fleshy part of the palm, drop it in against the strings, and come down. It's going to give us a click. We're not going to hear any notes. It's just kind of hitting right before the pick hits the strings. So I'm going to go down up on the F chord, and then a click on beat two. One and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. Come back over here to our fret hand. One and two. On the and of beat C, we're going to go to a C chord because it's on the and of beat two. I think I might have just said three, but I should have said beat two. That's one and two. This would be the and of beat two. We'll come back over here. It's going to be an up because it's the and of beat two. So we're going down, up on the F, down on the click, up on the C chord. Down, up, click, up. One, two, ready, go. We'll just sit here for a second. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Just working on our F to C with the click. So we're going down, up, down, up. One, two, ready, go. Down, up, click, up. So after that, the C is tied over, so that eighth note is tied to another eighth note. So we're going to have to go up again on the end of beat three. We're not playing on three, so we're going down and coming back up. So, so far we have down, up, click, up on the C, back down, but don't hit any strings, and back up for the end of beat three. So we have one, and two, and three, and four. And then for beat four, we'll put a click in again. So we have one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Down, up, click, up, up, down. Down, up, click, up, up, down. And for the end of beat four, we're going to take these fingers away and come back up just the open strings. So I have down, up on my app, down on my, for the click, up on the C, up again on the C, another click, up on the open strings. Down, up, click, up, up, click, up. That's the open strings at the end. I'm exaggerating the open strings a little bit right for now. They'll be a little more subtle when we play it in the tune. Then, you'll play the exact same thing for measure two, but A minor to G. So we'll go down, up on the A minor, click, up on the G, up again, click, up on the open strings. All together. I think it might be a little bit more like uh... And that's it. Uh, there's 
one point in the song where he stays on the G. I can't quite remember this jump pattern. It's something very similar to that one. Uh, and other than that, that's pretty much how Tom Petty plays uh, Learning the Fly.